sensors is very good. So when we test these, we're interested in, of course, observing the behaviors, you know, seeing what happens. Uh, but we're also interested in measuring physical data. And the, the values you think of as being able to measure, at least in, in civil engineering terms, would typically be load, uh, displacement, and strain would be the big ones. In some cases, pressure, which relates to load. Or, or there are other variations on those, but load, displacement, and strain would be the big ones. So load we would measure, you'll notice the canister with the wire coming out of it attached to this actuator. That's what we call a load cell. It's basically a big scale that's integrated into this press, and that would uh, enable us to, to measure the applied forces or loads that we're putting on this structure. Um, the others for measuring displacement we would use, in, in this case we would use an instrument like this, which is a, a string potentiometer. And it's basically a, a string coiled around a spring-loaded reel, and by electrically counting the number of revolutions of that wheel in a, in a very precise way, you can determine how much that string has moved and how much the and piece is attached. This, this guy will move, uh, each of these pistons will move up 20 inches, back to zero, and down 20 yes. inches with this attached. No, I mean with this whole... Correct, with the pipe attached. The pipe will bend at its mid-span over uh, almost two feet upward and then almost two feet downward. Yeah, I'll show you some photos in the hall. I know it's hard to believe when you look at it. Um, so these little things here are not sensors, they're targets for... These will be sensors, yes. Yeah. So we, we have, for measuring strain, uh, we have the typical bonded strain gauges. So the, the gauge will stretch and the resistance will change as the steel it's bonded to will stretch. How can you change the... Well, what's that? How can you change the uh, The steel, we can do one of these tests every week. So this program will have... Uh, and once we get going, the first test takes... We'll do probably a dozen of these types of pipes in this, in this program. But the, the sensors here, the plastic caps you're looking at, it's a it's a cap that will hold the sensor. And it will be a little LED with a little wire. It's not any bigger than the cap. It fits down in the cap. The cameras aren't here. But what that does is it will emit a little infrared light at each of these places and all, and all along the top. And we have a piece of equipment that's basically three lenses in a single camera and it can triangulate the position of that LED in three dimensions very accurately. So if you have a grid of these LEDs and you track the three-dimensional position of each one during the test, you can now determine if you know the distance between them, the strain or the stretch that occurred between any two, you can determine uh, the displacement, and if you have strains and displacements, you can back out stresses using traditional uh, formulations. So the LEDs are a real Neat, relatively new instrument for us. We've been using 